I was able to add $16,000 a month of income in a single day by selling AI agents. But that's not even the impressive part. The impressive part is that in about 60 minutes, I was able to use AI to build AI agents that sold AI agents. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do the same that way you can add passive income to your business or to your life. And in line with everything that I teach in this channel, you are not going to need any coding or background experience with this. You'll be able to watch this video from start and start applying what you learned today. But in order to do that, you are going to need two tools that are going to make this really easy for you. Number one is going to be your AI of choice. And right now, the big three are going to be ChatGPT by OpenAI, Claude, by Anthropic and Grok by X. We're going to be using these three AIs to help us build our AI. And then second, you are going to need a software called Go High Level because it will turn this from a complex coding exercise into something so simple that your third great nephew that drinks glue and eats crayons could do this in an afternoon. And to make this even easier for you, down below you're gonna find links to all of these tools. And for those of you that start your 30 day free trial of Go High Level or upgrade to SaaS mode, then you will be getting access to all my AI marketing prompts, my AI marketing course, and all the automations, workflows, and business models that you've seen me build on this channel. All of that as a bonus for you becoming my affiliate. It's kind of like you're getting a seven figure business model copy pasted for you, along with the education that you need to pilot. It. With that said, let's start this video by going over the business opportunity here. Right now, the marketing industry is worth about $1.5 trillion, and 72% of all marketing is going to involve AI. That means that over $1 trillion of wealth over the next two years is going to be transferred to marketers who learn AI. And because AI is so new, it means that there's no industry veterans, there's not really any competition, everybody's learning this from the ground up, just like you are now meaning it is a blue ocean that a ton of money is pouring into. And in a broader sense, what we're doing when we apply AI to marketing is that we're taking all the traditional age old problems that business owners have, but then we're using AI to solve them. And the reason why business owners would pay a ton of money for this is because AI solutions right now are not only more cost effective, but they're just better than what humans can do. And they take a lot less effort to manage than even automations do. And that's why it leads to massive wins for you where you get passive income out of it and massive wins for your clients because they're going to be making more money with less effort and at a reduced cost. And so now let's start getting specific. Right now, the call center industry is worth about $400 billion, but business owners hate using call centers. And there's two reasons for that. Number one, call centers are expensive, but then number two, call centers lose businesses a ton of money because they tend to be staffed with low quality talent from India or Pakistan that are trained to do just the bare minimum. And I mean no disrespect to the people of India or Pakistan, but I'm sure everyone watching this video knows what I'm talking about. So right now, business owners have a solution where they're losing money twice, first on the payment that they're giving to call centers, and then second, because those call centers are losing them customers. And that's an example of where AI can come in. Imagine that we were able to take that business owner's best salesperson, clone them, turn them into a 24 seven digital employee that can replace an entire call center. This 24 seven employee doesn't take vacations, doesn't have sick days, doesn't call off, doesn't quit, doesn't take breaks, doesn't need benefits, doesn't need overtime, doesn't need maternity or paternity leave. They're not an HR nightmare. It's the perfect employee 24 seven. Well, that's what we can set up for these business owners where we can create these AI agents that operate 24 seven that can take all of the calls just like a call center would, would qualify the customers and schedule appointments just like a call center would. But we're able to do it better than call centers and for a fraction of the cost. And so can you see why business owners would start entertaining the idea or want to start looking into AI? And so I'll be showing you a demo of this in action in just a second. But first, I want to go over what kind of industries we're applying this to and what kind of industries you should be looking at. So number one is you're going to have the home service industry. So plumbers, electricians, HVACs, cleaning services, they're always getting calls after hours. And so they are some of the people who need it the most. Additionally, it's really common for there to be small mom and pop businesses where they just don't have the bandwidth to answer the phone all day. And so having an AI employee that can take those calls as even as just a backup, that right there brings in a ton more money for them. Second, you're going to have the health, wellness, and food niche because everything from dental practices to restaurants to chiropractors, PTs, gyms, salons, they are all notorious for missing calls. And so having an AI agent that can sit there waiting for those calls, answer the phones for them, schedule those appointments, 
that not only saves them a ton of money on human resources, but it increases their profits as well. You have the automotive industry with car dealerships, car salesmen, repair shops, for the same reasons that we've been listing so far. You have established real estate agents and mortgage loan officers where 90% of their time is going to talking to leads and they don't know if those leads are gonna be qualified or unqualified. And so we can set up the AI agent that can take care of it for them, where the AI can qualify the leads, send the qualified ones over to the agents, and then take the unqualified leads and nurture them over the next 12 or even 24 months until they are ready to buy or they're pre-approved on a loan. And then fifth, one of the most untapped markets right now, where I think a lot of people are sleeping on this, is the legal space where personal injury lawyers and DUI lawyers, when do a lot of accidents happen? A lot of accidents happen when law firms are closed. And so giving access to these lawyers on a 24 seven employee that can take calls, whether somebody's just had a DUI, whether somebody's just been an injury and it's after hours, that is incredibly valuable to them. And the best part about it is that you're not really going to train a call center on legal compliance in the United States, but you can easily train an AI on that. And so hopefully you're starting to get an idea of just some of the use cases of just voice AI. Now, if you've been watching my other YouTube videos, then you've been seeing all the different applications, but this right now is just one of those really easy wins. And so now let's go over a live demo so that you can see this in action. And the AI agent that you're about to see, it's one that took me about 60 minutes to set up. And the goal of it is just to get the customer's basic contact information, qualify and figure out what's the customer's pain points, and then schedule these sales appointments. Hi, you've reached the law offices of Gooby McGooberton. How can we help you? Hey, I just got into a car crash and I think I might need an attorney for this one. I'm really sorry to hear about your accident. Let's get some details so we can help you out. Could you start by getting your full name? Yeah, it's Bruno Souza. Thanks, Bruno. Could you also share your phone number so we can reach out to you? And your email address, please. Could you tell me a bit more about the accident? Like when and where it happened? And if you're experiencing any injuries or pain? Yeah, so this was downtown Boston. Um, I was sitting in my car at a red light. Some lady, she ran the curb and uh, she hit a curb as usual and went flying off and her vehicle hit my vehicle. Um, right now, I am feeling a lot of back pain and wrist pain. And this was just 15 minutes ago. Oh no, that sounds really painful and stressful. I'm sorry you're going through this. Have you received any medical attention yet? Um, there's an ambulance coming right now. That's good to hear. It's important to get checked. Once you're able, an attorney from our firm will reach out to discuss your case further. Is there a specific time that's best for them to call you back? Um, probably as soon as possible, wouldn't you think so? While you're at the scene, if it's safe to do so, try to gather as much information as you can. Take photos of the incident scene and any visible injuries. Also get contact details from any witnesses and note down anything you remember about how it happened. This will be really helpful for your attorney later on. Be safe. Thank you. Now that right there was a live demo and you just witnessed the AI in action. That is one that took us about 20, 25 minutes to build. So it's not completely refined, but you got to see just how good it is. And to give you an idea on pricing right now, we're selling these for anywhere between $720 a month, which comes out to $1 an hour for a 24 seven, 30 days a month employee. And that's on the low end to $2,000 a month on the higher end. And if all this did was just get a single case for a personal injury lawyer, then that right there is more than enough for them to break even. And so hopefully you're starting to see how this all comes together, why business owners would pay so much for this, because just having even that as a backup 24 seven is more than enough to start replacing call centers. And so now that you've seen the first part of the demo in action, let's go over how you build this. Now, obviously the easiest way is going to be for you to start the 30 day trial of go high level SaaS mode using our affiliate link or to upgrade to SaaS mode, because then I'm going to be giving you the AI prompts that we use within our own marketing agency. And to give you an idea at the moment, they're bringing in about 2.5 K a day in revenue. And so for those of you that do become my affiliate, I'm happy to save you the trouble of doing the work. I'm happy to do it for you and give you all the courses on how to do what we do. But with that said, let's go behind the scenes here so I can show you how to build this for yourself in about 20 minutes as well. So starting off, we're going to go to high level. We're going to go to any sub account settings, go over to voice AI agents, and then just hit the create agent. If you don't have voice AI enabled yet, there's going to be a link for that down below. But then we are going to take care of some of the basic work here, which is you're going to name your agent. You're going to set a very simple business name. You're going to select the voice that you want your agent to have. Now, normally what I suggest is going for a disarming 
innocent, young sounding female voice because you want the interaction to feel the least threatening as possible. And so like we wouldn't want Brian who's deep and mature. We would probably want Bria who is young and soft. You're going to select the language. Now, being honest with you guys, it's February that I'm recording this. At the moment, the languages aren't spot on. Like they, they're grammatically correct, but they just have like a very thick accent. Like it sounds an Amer like an American with a thick accent talking in these languages rather than a native speaker. But I'm sure that's going to be getting better over time. Select your time zone. You're going to make sure that inbound call is selected for this. Outbound calling is going to be coming soon. And boy, when that does, that's eight to nine figures right there. Like I can't tell you how big that one is. And then you're just going to have the initial message here. So, hey, you've reached the law offices of so-and-so. How can we help you today? Or whatever niche you're doing this for. Next, you're going to click on advanced settings. You're going to set your call time limit to anywhere between 10 and 15. Like you don't want the calls to be too short, but then you also don't want them to last for too long. And then for the response speed, I like playing between brisk and fast. Once that's done, you're going to be on the screen here. And this is where we're going to switch to advanced mode. You're going to have access to this base level prompt, but we're not going to be taking a look at that yet. Instead, where we want to start is going to be by kind of deciding, like, what are the objectives of this agent? What are the pieces of contact information that we need to gather? So in the case of the attorney's example that you just saw there, there was a couple things that it picked up. So his first name, last name, email, phone number, the leads pain points and information that would be relevant to a lawyer. It's going to be different for every niche. But once you have that list, you're going to click on the update contact field here and you're just going to start adding things one by one. So, for example, first name, we'd go over here and select first name, first name of the caller. Then we would just give an example. And we would repeat this process until we've selected all the different fields that we need. So now let's fire up our different AIs, whichever one you like, whether it's going to be Grok, whether it's going to be Claude, ChatGPT. And what we want to do is we want to give it the information that it needs. So the context that it's looking for. And so using an example of a prompt that I just wrote, I'm building a voice AI agent that takes calls for personal injury and DUI lawyers. Please modify the prompt attached for an AI agent where we'll gather relevant piece of information, contact, relevant piece of contact info, qualify the lead and maintain any compliance standards for giving out legal information. The agent will also gather relevant information for the case and if it does not break compliance guide the caller on what to do if they are on the scene regarding evidence or pieces of information they should collect now one of the problem that i've been experiencing with these agents comes just down to two things and it's number one you need to have some clear instructions for them on how to not interrupt people or how to not have like too long of a pause some pauses are okay because it's mimicking like a human writing but there needs to be clear guidelines for that. And some additional instructions that I'm giving this agent is for it to sound more human, tonality, emotions, inflections of speech, so that it's not too flat or sounding too robotic. And so we can take this prompt here, we can send it over to our different AI. So whether you're using Rock or you're using Claude. And then lastly, all we wanna do is we wanna paste in the prompt that a high level starts giving us. And so here we go, we are getting the prompt from Rock here. And this is us using the AI to build the AI. And we're gonna grab all this information here and we are just gonna copy and paste it into the prompt area. And then we're just gonna select who's gonna get the transcripts or notifications about the call. So contacts assigned user is a common one. And then in some cases, specific users, depending on who needs to be notified that, hey, an AI call came in. And then we can hit next. And then you can begin the process of testing out the AI agent. Now, you're probably going to have to spend 15, 20 minutes calling the AI agent, testing it back and forth. And in the event that you find something that you don't like, all you need to do is tell the AI that you were using what you didn't like about the original prompt and have it fix it. That way, we're using AI to fix our AI. But then this brings us to another point here, which is, okay, well, then how do we get this AI to sell itself? So what we're going to do is within the same thread of whatever AI you're currently using, you're going to be giving it more context and more information as to what you're trying to do. Now, this is an example of a prompt that we use here where we're essentially going to have the AI split itself into two phases where phase one is going to be a demo and then phase two is going to be the AI attempting to sell itself. 
Now you can have these AIs take payments over the phone and complete transactions over the phone. And that can work really well for something like a restaurant or ticket selling. But for something where it's going to be high ticket, where the payment is going to be anywhere from $720 to $12,000, the person is probably going to want to speak to a human over the phone. And so the goal of the AI is going to be to set up an appointment for the attorneys demoing this to talk to us. Now, the way that I've been using this is whenever I'm speaking to a client, I will have them call the demo AI in real time, pretending that they're a customer, trying it out for themselves because a lot of people have never done this before. So for them, it's novel, it's cool, it's new. And once they see like, holy crap, this actually does do pretty well, then they normally wanna schedule and talk to somebody about getting it implemented or what it could do for them. And so we're gonna have our AI here create that modified prompt. And we're gonna take the prompt, we're gonna paste it over into our AI and now I'm going to call it again, but this time I'm going to skip the demo part and go straight to the sales part so that you can see some of the work that it does. Hey, Bria, um, I just got into a car crash and uh, actually, Bria, I was hoping you could skip phase one of your prompt and go straight to phase two because I'm an attorney that's thinking about buying AI. Oh, you're an attorney checking me out? Awesome. I'm glad you're here to see what I can do. So what brought you to explore an AI assistant like me? I was just wondering if an AI might be the kind of solution that I'm looking for, for handling our after hours calls or some of the emergency calls that come in or some of the overflow. Handling after hours and overflow calls can be a real challenge. How often do you find yourself missing those calls or feeling overwhelmed by them? Um, we're probably getting at least a couple every week. That can definitely add up. On a scale of one to 10, how much is missing those calls to you? Is it more of an annoyance or a real roadblock for your I would say that over time, it can feel like a roadblock. Right now, it definitely is annoying. On a scale of one to 10, it's probably like a seven. <laughs> Have you thought about using an AI solution before? Or is this a new avenue you're exploring? This is a new avenue that I'm exploring. What I do is catch every call day or night to all the key info, like with you, to make sure no leads slip through the crowd. It's like having a 24 seven assistant who never sleeps. Sounds like it could potentially be useful great to hear. I set up a quick call with one of my team members. They can walk you through how I can work for your firm. What's a good time for you? How about tomorrow at noon? Perfect. I'll set that up for tomorrow at noon. We'll call you at your number. Thanks for checking me out. Hope to work with you soon. And so that right there is an example. And some of the other ways where we've been using this to get clients is number one, whenever we're on a Zoom with a prospect, we are definitely telling them like, hey, grab your phone and call this right now and check it out for yourself. Number two, whenever we're going to trade shows, home improvement conferences, because I am in the home improvement space, we have a QR code kind of like this one here. And a lot of people, they actually scan that QR code. And when they do, we're able to get their contact information so that the AI can call them nurture them and make sure that they close. But we get a lot of curious people that want to talk to an AI employee and see if it's right for them. They're calling in for that. And then number three, just all these traditional ways that digital marketing agencies get clients, being able to have an AI agent on deck that can not only demo itself in real time, but then also attempt to sell itself and turn that into an appointment. That's what let us do 16,000 in a single day. And if you want to learn more about how to start building wealth with an AI, there's a couple of options for you. I'm going to lay them all out below. But number one, I do have a mentorship program. If you want to work with me on a closer level to grow your business, grow your agency. Number two, if you start your 30 day free trial of go high level or upgrade to SaaS mode, then you will be getting access to my AI prompts, AI marketing course, as well as my snapshot that has all the automations and things that you've seen me build on this channel, literally copy pasted and sent over to you. And then number three, you can keep watching my videos. I thank you for the support. Let me know what questions you have in the comments. And if you got value from this video, then make sure you check out the other ones and like subscribe and ring the bell notification because I'm going to be dropping a lot more AI value over the next couple of weeks.